Welcome back to another Beer Heroes Tasting. Today we are doing Tiny Rebel from Newport Wales. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Beer Heroes Beer Tasting. Um, yeah, as Kelly has said, we are doing the Tiny Rebel. It's the original Stay Puff and the four new Imperial uh, Stay Puffs with different flavours in there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep them short, so we've got five beers in one video, so we don't want it to last too long and get a little bit boring for you. Um, should we get started? Let's. I'm excited about this, yeah. I'm so excited. So we are kicking off with the original Marshmallow Porter yes. at 5.2%. So we're going to share glasses, Kelly, because again, yeah. we are lazy and we don't want to wash up. <laughs> um, I had these out of the fridge for a little while, because obviously, you know, it can be a little bit cold sometimes when you're having a, when you're having a, um, a dark beer. So marshmallow porter, stay puffed. Most of us will probably have seen the can before. Um, obviously a, ma a marshmallow porter will give you, hopefully marshmallow flavours. I think this one goes for like a smorzy flavour. And we have done some food and beer pairings with a local restaurant uh, to where our offices are based. But this one, where he's made amazing. this back into marshmallows, didn't he? He did. Uh, this is ne next door restaurant in Frodsham. If you get a chance to go, um, superb restaurant. Rick, the chef, excellent. Um, Vicky is a great sommelier as well. So lovely owners, lovely food, and they've got a great beer selection as well. Um, what do you get, Kelly? Anyway, sorry. Uh, you, you get what it says, marshmallows. Um, I've had this before, um, so I know I like it anyway. I, it's, mm. it's a good, just marshmallowy porter. Yeah, it. and, and I, I get the smokiness. Yeah. Because um, it's like marshmallows on a campfire, um, a little bit of biscuity backbone, a bit of biscuity base to it. Um, yeah, char, you know, sort of when you put your, your, your marshmallows on the barbecue and you get them. Get a little bit charred around the edge. That's the that's the flavour, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah, it's different to just having a. Mar I don't think it's just like a marshmallow out of a packet. It, it's the bar bar yeah, you no, get the smoking. Just make me laugh at your descriptions because I just don't know where they come from. But it's great. I love it. Oh, there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a cavern where they bounce off around inside my head in that one. So the starter for ten is the, is the normal one. We yeah, like it. We love it. I've liked it for a long time. Um, right, glassware so, coming across. Next one. This next one is the beginning of the Imperial new range. So it's Imperial Praline. Praline? Praline. Praline. How do you say it? Praline. Uh, 9%. Um, I've not had this one before, so. Well. Quite interesting. After you. So there's the can there. So the, the Imperial has the, uh, the Stape Off Stormtrooper on, which is a, a great mm. um, can, I think, with a with little, little Praline little. Straight away you get that kind nod. of nutty mm. smell. He's keeping me tight. He's I holding know. it back there, savouring it. Yeah. Just holding it in there for a bit. That is lovely, I think. <clears throat> Get them. Oh. I just taste the nuttiness. It's just. Yeah. It's warm. Roasted nuts. Oh, I love it. Yeah, definitely. You've got the good. So you've got the, the praline, you've got, the, you've got mm. that smoky roastiness to it, but not over the top. And, and yeah, it's. Yeah. A bit like, the, <laughs> a bit like yeah. the green triangle in a college street. That's what I'm getting. I've never really eaten those ones, so I don't know. Oh, anyway. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll save you on next time. Uh, but there, the green green triangle in the quality street. Um, that could be my supplier of quality streets. <laughs> Give me a quick message there. Um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I really like that one. Really good. Right, the next one. Mm, so the next one is a uh, coconut cream. Again, nine percent. So I'm excited uh, for this I one. Yeah. I love coconut anyway. Um, yeah, they're all they're all nine percent, aren't they? All these, yeah, sorry, yeah. so they're all a different version on, on the imperial puffed. Um, again, they all pour in super super dark. Why can't he tries it? It's our lovely stormtrooper staple plan holding a coconut cream again, biscuit. You get the straight away on the nose. I get anyway coconut like bounty. Do you think I like it? Bounty. <laughs> uh, it's not all then. It is golden. The jokes, not the beer. That's not golden at all. Yeah, again for me, straight away, coconut, <laughs> like I'm drinking a bounty. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that's good. 
I'm really so, excited. <laughs> and you get it after, you get it at the back of your yeah. throat after. Um, like a coconut milky kind of thing going mm. on. And oh, yeah. I love that. Now, just sitting here now, tasting it afterwards, <clears throat> the coconut lingers. It lingers, yeah. yeah. I love it. It's a clever, clever beer. I mean, I get that these won't be for everyone because they're all dark for a kickoff, um, and there's quite different flavours. But yeah, oh my goodness. Well, I mean, you've got that. Amazing. You've got you've got that porter base, haven't you? The Imperial yeah. Porter. So it's it's got a bit of booziness to it. It's got the the coffee, the dark chocolate. I think I think this range always has that dark chocolate there. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> that was really next good. one. Next one. <laughs> so Let's this do one it. is the Imperial Espresso Martini. Yeah, so interesting. Which, yeah, I'm intrigued by this one. So espresso, what? coffee, martini, booze. Double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'm thinking. I kind kind of get a hint of coffee, not too much. I don't think it's going to be James Bond star martini though. I think you're looking at obviously espresso, espresso martini, which is espresso, not espresso. I hate it when people say that. Um, which is kind of, you got that kind of little bit of alcohol kick behind the, the strong coffee yeah. flavour. <clears throat> kind of. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of coffee, not too much, not overpowering at all um, for me. <clears throat> not necessarily something to go, oh, that's martini, but. There's a little there's something, something, something. Yeah, there's something back yeah, there. Yeah, and it's a bit of booziness. Yeah. Um, it's quite smooth, like a martini yeah. would be. You know when you've had probably too many expression martinis <laughs> and they become a bit, woo! That's what, it's got, it's got quite a bit mm. of a boozy kick to it. Yeah. A bit of like a... It's like missed out the start and take the straight to the end. A vodka slash Ginny, and maybe a bit of like botanical edge from like as if you've got a bit of gin in your martini and... Um, possibly, possibly like that. But for me as well, I, I know you said you didn't get much coffee. I get a lot. I get a bit, a big hit of espresso. Well, you have got bigger nose. I have got a bigger nose. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, super, super. I'm not too sure that needs to be said out there. Everyone can see. <laughs> I'm joking. The nose. <laughs> We, we will smell different things as well as we do, yeah, and that's that's why we try, that's why we taste, and we all love different tastes. <laughs> I'm moving swiftly on to the next yes, beer now, so guys. I'm one. not going to dwell on that. <laughs> it's the Imperial Waffle <laughs> and Candid Bacon. Talking which, of waffle, <laughs> we shall. Uh, um, it's probably one of the most interesting ones that I'm quite excited about. So I've tried to stagger the flavours based on what I think they're going to be in terms of extremity. Um, Sorry, I was going to drink it then. You go first. I, was I, say shall, you can go ahead. I shall hold the can. There we go, Imperial Staple Man with a waffle, um, and we assume there's candied bacon in. Now, I am a fan of bacon, full stop. Candied bacon just makes bacon even better. So, I'm hoping this is just going to blow my socks off. And I'm hoping Kelly's going to pass the glass yeah, over sorry, any no. second now. So smell-wise, I'm not too sure. Have you tasted get, it yet? But taste-wise, uh, for me, I definitely get that maple kind of syrup on waffles that you get or, or pancakes. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm not too sure I can pick up any bacon, but I like the taste of the, like, the, the maple syrupy. It's sweet. It's I get the candied bit. You yeah. Just don't get the bacon. But candied bit, bacon but... has that salty, <clears throat> that salty kind of sweet mix. You don't mm. once you candy it, you, you you're not getting like a a whack of. It's not like smoky it's... bacon crisps or anything like that. It's um, the smell is what waffles with maple syrup. Yeah. Spot on. Um, the bacon is there, but subtle. I don't want a beer to taste of bacon <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, if you like bacon beer, there's a there's a few German ones out there that taste of smoky bacon crisps, mm. and they're nice, but you can't have too many of them. Uh, these again, people go, oh, it's quite extreme flavours, you can't drink too many of them. At nine percent, you wouldn't want to anyway. No, um, yeah. But this one, yeah, sweet, um, a little bit of salty baconness, um, waffles, mm. maple syrup, kind of 
I'll just so go you straight like the coconut there. one, you kind of get that lingering maple syrupy. A sweet maple syrupness yeah. to it, yeah. Lingering. Um, five awesome <laughs> beers, the original and the four imperial versions. Kelly, we're going to have to choose a favourite now. This I is know, tough. I know, I know. This I'm torn tough. between actually the coconut and the, um, the waffle and candied bacon. But I think I'm going to go coconut. Are you going to go coconut? Yeah, I think so. so I just love coconut. That's my favourite too. Yeah. That is, <laughs> that's my favourite. <laughs> I thought you would go the candid. Basically. It's really nice, but that coconut cream one just has that real sweet coconut lingering flavour. It does. And one of well, one of our favourite beers is the um, Imperial Coconut from um, from Mary. Mary Brewing Company. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Yeah. And it's a time and place thing where you know we've had that beer in Hawaii and it was superb. So it yeah. kind of touches a little, a little note yeah. with me. I think it's the same with you, isn't it? Which beer yeah. means something to people, which is which is good. Um, so yeah, we both like the coconut one, which I think was this one. Yeah. So we'll we'll show you can have that one. I'll, I'll have the original just to chink at the end. Um, but it's just yeah, all we've got to say now I think is uh, cheers. Cheers and thanks for watching. And uh, if you could subscribe and like the video, uh, tell your friends about us, um, spread the word. We've enjoyed the past four or five weeks putting these new videos out there for you. Um, and hopefully we'll see you on the next episode. Yes. Cheers, guys. Take care. Cheers.